Okay, so this is our process flow diagram. We started with, uh, with getting 150 grams of green beans, and then we used the fresh roaster to roaster beans and found that we used 0.19 kilowatts per hour of energy. Then the mass of our roasted beans was 127.5 grams, and we used 80 grams for, for our project. And we found that for every usage, we used 0.12 kilowatts per hour. Then we went to grind those roasted beans at a grind size of 15, and uh, we chose to, to grind 40 grams of, uh, of the beans per time, and we did it twice. Yeah, we did it twice, and uh, each, each time we found that we used 0.06 kilowatts per hour of energy. After that, we wanted to brew our, our beans and we used Mr. Coffee. And uh, from that, we found that each time we, we use Mr. Coffee, we use 0.06 kilowatts per energy. And because we used it twice, it, uh, it went to 0.12. And by the way, we used uh, 600 grams of water twice, which added up to being 1,200 grams of water. After that, we, we measured the mass of our brewed coffee and it was 944.8 grams. And at the end of this, we measured the tedious percentage of our brewed coffee and we found that it was 0.97%. Okay, so these are our mass balances. We used uh, 1,200 grams of water and uh, 80 grams of coffee solids to make our coffee, which gave us 944.8 grams of coffee. And it also gave us a waste stream of 335.2 grams. We chose the Guatemala beans and uh, for our fresh roaster settings, we used uh, eight for the pan, seven for the power and seven minutes for the time. And we found that uh, for our Mr. Coffee, we used 0.12 kilowatts per hour of energy. And for our fresh roaster, we, we used 0.19 kilowatts per hour. And uh, finally, for our PE, we calculated it to be 22.91%. Okay, so the main way we used to minimize our energy usage was to use a lower time and power settings that are not previous tries. Uh, for ex so, what the, so what we did on our first try, we used the settings of 998, which led us to have a pretty high energy usage. And then we decided for our final project to use the settings of 877, which led us to use much lower energy. In a future hypothetical contest, we would try to enhance roasting techniques, meaning we would experiment with different roasting profiles to better develop the, fla the flavors and aromas of the beans in the beans. This could involve adjusting roasting times and temperatures to achieve a more precise flavor. We would also try to refine brewing methods. With Mr. Coffee Machine, we would focus on optimizing brewing variables such as water temperature, brewing time, and coffee to water ratio. Experimenting with these variables, va variables would help us extract the best flavors from a coffee.